Okay, so today I thought I'd do a video here of the basic bony landmarks of the back. You can see I've come from the top here, uh, T3 being the spine of the scapulas, inferior angles of the scapular uh, T7, uh, 12th rib following that through where that joins onto the spine, T12 L1, um, L4 L5 and the uh, PSIS is posterior superior iliac spine. So some of the ways in which I find that finding these PSISs can be really tricky. Uh, sometimes for most, some people it's just a dimple that you can put your fingers on and think, great, got it. For others it's more tricky. And this is the way I found it. And um, yeah, have a play with people and get a sense of what you think works. So my, my fingertips come over the top of the iliac crest, the, the iliums. Um, and I find my bring my fingertips onto the top of the iliums. I then bring my hands completely level with that. So there's a right angle here as I bring my fingers together. And that gives me L4, L4 uh, lumbar. I come down the width of a thumb, which gives me L5. And then as I come out, I come out about 45 degrees. And as I come out, I feel along until I feel a quite a nice bony tuberance um, of the uh, posterior superior iliac spine. Now that gives me uh, the most posterior aspect of the pelvis. From here, I can come down and if I push my tissue in here, I can find the S, uh, sorry, the SI joint, sacroiliac joint, as I come down and obviously the coccyx uh, um, through, through just into the uh, top of the crease at the bottom. So th this border here between um, the edge of the edge of the sacrum and the ilium is a, such an important aspect for glute maximus. So glute max comes up here, comes down to the coccyx, swings around, gives our bottom its shape. It comes into that first third of the iliac crest and then disappears round, joins into the IT band and also uh, the femur, back of the femurs for extension. Okay.